So I was toying with a bunch of nav points and I figured I'd put them in Alt ATC to play with. So I go to export them, then I load them in Alt ATC, and all I get is RAINBOW! And it's not just that, the points just become a tiny, barely visible circle with a label taped onto it. Used to be you just had to put up with it, but now, there's a better way. But Torin, there's tons of these things here, you really gonna bother with them all? Well, there's just 150 of them. And there's a way to make it a little faster as well, and that's what this video is really about. You're going to start with making a template, a point draw that you make look like what all the other points should look like. Now you save the entire layer, overriding the export from Compafly and opening in your chosen text editor. Grab the template point you made off the bottom of the list and cut it out. You'll need it later. Then. You select all the drawings by going from the square bracket right here to the one at the top and copy that. You'll be putting that into an online JSON editor like the one I'll be showing you here. Now we only want the good parts, the ones we really need. We want to filter out all the text labels and with the circles only keep the properties we will really need like ID, latitude, line width, longitude and name. Voila. Now it's time to do something with your template. Something, uh, yeah, just follow what's happening there. And grab just this part here, later. So into this website, we will input the filter. Jason. And then into that field above it, we will put the... Now, stay calm, that's just a regular expression. And it lets us do the bulk of the work by filling out the trimmed Jason elements with that part of the template that I had you keep earlier. Once that's done, it will produce... the messiest tabulation I've ever seen in code. Regardless, we're going to place that whole thing in place of the drawings of the actual Jason from Lot ATC. And by some miracle it worked. Now all that's left to do is to save the drawings and override the JSON again, which now puts the white space madness to an end. Congratulations. If you follow this right, you now have pretty enough points, IPs, or whatever punctual object you want to pull out of combat flight. I hope this guy was useful to you. And thank you for listening. Yeah, it's not like I have to put the line with property in a filter because then I wouldn't have to match it because it didn't matter anyway and rejects can be done in a thousand different ways. You can get off my back about it. This took me three hours to think about this.